Oh, okay, some other conditions we can go faster. Such terms you might be coming across in movies or some serials. If you watch Supernatural, did you watch the season one? Probably the first or second episode was about this creature we call it Windigo. So, what do they believe in North America, especially where Red Indians are living? When you are isolated, you starve. You start eating whatever is available there. Sometimes, you know, when you are caught with other people, other people die, you start eating their body and you turn into a monster, which is cannibalistic monster. This uh, cannibal is called as Windigo, or they might call it Wendigo sometimes. Such a phenomenon is believed in Red Indians. So they think that, you know, you convert into an animal, which will be looking like a monster. Windigo or Wendigo? Yes, there was an ex episode in X Files 2, and they show like more or less appropriate case because they show about a case happening in an Indian community. It like one werewolf is attacking people and eating like livestock, and later on they find out it's a guy. So this is actually a phenomenon of Wendigo. Next one, there's similar uh, belief in another one country. This is Philippines. In Philippines, they think that there is a, a kind of witch, or there is a kind of vampire, or they, they call it as Aswan. This is a shapeshifter. So what do they think? This can come like human, but it's a vampire. It can come like your girlfriend and kill you. Or it can take a, 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 a different animal's body. It can become something like a big bat or, or a kind of bird. Or they can even say that it can turn into a kind of wolf. Usually it comes like an adorable animal, like they think like this. It will come like a goat and it will be turning into some kind of werewolf. So they call this technically as were-beast, which means that like werewolf, like you know, monster, monster-like beast. And it can be uh, shape-shifting. It can come like human and it can shift into another one animal and kill you. And this is a belief in Philippines, which is similar to Wendigo. Wendigo in North America, which you already told you, native Indians, American Indians. And in Aswan, we are talking about Philippines culture. So these are the photos you can find on the internet. They even blame, sometimes you know, people getting killed by animals, and people getting killed by some mobs sometimes, they actually blame Aswan belief. One of the best way of like escaping, yes? You can find such news in Philippines media. Okay, what is this? So, Shin Kaisitsu, this is a Japanese word. What happened here, people become so anxious when they are moved from villages to the industrialized region. So, people are moved without equipment. So, they are not ready to move into the big city, but once they come into the city, you know what happens in big cities? Probably it happened to you. When you came from village to a big city, nobody cares about you. Everything is machinery. You know, things work in machine. People don't care about each other. Nobody is going to help you. What do you feel? You feel so anxious. You feel inadequate because they are so good in computer, you don't know about computer. You feel inadequate. Nobody talks to you. Nobody helps you. Nobody is like caring about you. They feel lost and unwell, un unloved. So this condition is called, usually it is seen in Japanese culture because Japan is hi-fi. Yes, the cities are very high-fi and you cannot adapt that fast. So once people move from village to industrialized region, they start feeling such uh, incontinuity, you can say. This is called another one, yes, cultural bound syndrome seen in Japan.